um, it appears that I'm going to have to make even more <laughs> sacrifices than just the communication and the lifestyle ones. There's going to probably be a bit more than that. And even when I think there's the leftover, quote unquote, I'm not going to use air quotations for this. Even when I think it's leftover, I've been procrastinating for years on end. There's still more after that, and that's not gonna. That's not to say that I never had to finish anything I ever did before. But it's like there are closures I've had. But you know, I think I'm going to have to niche down back on the claymation one more time. And if I don't stay true to being myself, or stay with a niche down, with either either or or both or neither, um, whatever happens next might be very important because. This is gonna show what I can do with real sacrifice and what being authentic to myself really means. If you compare it to my growth and evolution, whether growing on this channel is growth and evolution or growing as a person is growth and evolution. So the best of those both worlds, balanced and tethered in their own way. And that includes the communication. So I just said in this first minute, maybe not been <laughs> the point, but or even said the possible way, obviously, but you know, maybe not. But got a little script here for this video and I, uh, Obviously, this won't be what I still pander on as being not quality content. That's going to be my own bitterness. But I try not to be bitter nowadays, so, you know. Uh, what I wrote here was uh, five reasons growing my YouTube channel will help me. And then there's a list of the five. I circled one of the five. Three ways to still be myself in the future. Three of those, and circled one of the three. And now I got a reference to the title of this video, which is the mystery of multitasking and the bonus of, of believing and something like that. And this may be my last Friday content video, basically. Uh, I have to say that softly. <laughs> uh, but we're going to focus on the two circled items and maybe the, the call to action, I guess you could say. Here's the mystery bonus. I'm going to have to become someone I've never been before by doing things I've never done before. And the way I do that is that sometimes I'm going to have to even sacrifice things that I, I have the most attachment to. That's one of the other items with, with zero attachment. Uh, or at least less attachment. I'm going to have to become someone like that through even sacrificing things that I could swear were making me a better person or could swear were who I really was, authentically speaking. If I'm going to be completely honest with you, not even this has to be non-regrettable. But the thing is that you never really know what these things how much I've suffered before or how much pain I've had before may not be the point, but I could still tell you from my own experience at least, hopefully this is advice that's sage, uh, <laughs> anything that I could at least do to help you or help myself with at this point. But uh, the mystery bonus is the idea, and this could be another fossil term, the mystery bonus is the idea that there's more ahead of the things you know that are ahead of what you can already know you need to do. So there's what you know you need to do that's left over, like my uh, communication, my uh, niche down, my uh, lifestyle, getting great, great for PMO, other stuff like that, and manifesting my desires by checking my vibration and being able to know through myself if I'm being authentic with the world with or without any of those false spiritualities. That's what I think is left over. That's why I convince my ego and my consciousness is what's left over. Then there's stuff that's after that that I, I can place hold and say, yeah, I know there's more than after that. And I can start to sense what's after that. Like I'm saying, like with the niche down, that's why I know, and then the, the subconscious would be like, things like, uh, what I do when I have like a, I don't know, a fucking, uh, I'm, I'm trying to wear this carefully, but, uh, what I'm going to have to do as I get older as a person, I'm not aware of what I have to do right now, because I'm not that old yet, because I'm still 26, but older as, as subjected to however old I have to get to be with a number of age, or with actually literally being older as a person, but older than older over time, I guess, yeah. It comes with wisdom, I guess you could say. But it's a, uh, there's that second stage of not knowing what's next after the knowing of both of so. And then there's stuff that's after that placeholder, which is so obscure that I can't even imagine it as an idea. So then I can't even possibly grasp it as being part of my own reality. And that's the part of me that has to be the mystery bonus, is like the part of my future that I know is still there but I can't even possibly imagine it the same way I think I could. You know, it's th that's the same approach and attitude I have with feeling like I couldn't even possibly sacrifice my passion. That is something I could have never have dreamed of 10 years ago. It's like, why would I give up what I care about compared to what I was forced to do or what I was prevented from doing or even things that I didn't understand the best possible way? Why would I sacrifice the only other thing that could help me at this point in my own supposed ego? And the reason is, I'll tell you, is that I'll sacrifice my passion because not only because it's not about me, not 
only because it's not about um, having an, a sense of some supposed integrity or humility, which I can get to in a second. It's not supposed to be the reality at that point. But uh, of true integrity hum humility or humility. And not having to notice that even if the passion and the dreams were there, they didn't have to be fulfilled. You know, you notice it even from Spider-Man. You freaking like had a second mood to say that even your dreams should, shouldn't have to be holding you back from doing the right thing. But what about the passion part? People say that passion is the key to certain kinds of understanding and uh, journeys and living your life experiences out. I would sacrifice my passion because I know that as per par for growth and evolution, you don't even need to do what you love. You just need to learn to love what you do. It's like, <laughs> like because the growth and evolution comes from everything else you do. It doesn't matter whether you love it or not. Even if it's only uncomfortable or only, I mean, only uncomfortable could be a bigger thing for other things. But like, even if it was only bad or only good or only had to, had to do with whatever the hell you're doing. And I, I, and I know I'm talking quite a bit a lot about passion right now and sacrifice. I'll get to the Nishan conservation conservation in a second. I'll cross one. But all you need to know is that I'm sacrificing my passions not because... I don't care about myself, but because I know there's bigger things out there for me and in store for me and bigger than me that can still be within my midst. And that's all I can say for Starcaster for passion right now. Let's get into claymation, niching down, quality content, Photoshop thumbnails, and maybe even what I can do with creativity that can still allow me to be myself every once in a while. If even creativity is involved with that. So I'm going to have to eventually get Photoshop and uh, learn the human game of having quality custom thumbnails. To learn the human game of having short of like videos at least every once in a while and then maybe have a little bit of consistency if necessary if it even is crucial uh, that's not up there a little bit even still for that one that matter you're gonna have to still learn the human game behind communication as i said before like i'm doing not right now sorry <laughs> maybe but we're, we're getting there uh the human game of some form of integrity with being impeccable my, my work. The Four Agreements are a great book. I was just reading that dark before this video, by the way. The Four Agreements. Read, read it. Uh, there's other books I'm reading on Kindle right now that are really good as well, but that would be a good start. Is Theosophy would be a good second to that, but other than that, yeah. But like book recommendations, too. I can read the list afterwards, actually, by the way, but... The thing about the, the content is that if I niche down back into claymation and I still want to have an outlet, and I still want to, uh, controversially speaking, surprisingly, if I still want to have an outlet that has nothing to do with claymation, because it is in claymation, if I still want to be true to myself, and I still want to sacrifice other things that are hopefully not what I still think should still be there, that what I can do is still make the claymation as per sacrifice for myself and other people, and make it quality, and make it the way it could be, and can still be better than, but still do my best in a way that's measured enough for that. What I can do, there's three things I can do for that. First of all, for, before I get to them, I'm going to read the list for uh, five reasons Growing Made 2 Channel will help me. The fifth reason why Growing Made 2 Channel will help me was obviously mystery bonus. The other four items were growth and evolution, I said it before, growth and evolution, zero attachments, I said that also before in this video. Humbling myself, I said that before. The, the only thing I forgot to mention was uh, action slash stability. And that's from maybe a financial standpoint and a you know, doing, actually doing shit, you know, stuff like that, there's my monetization again, and there's that, the five list, and I hope that you all understand what I meant for the five items. The three ways to still be myself in the future, I slightly said this before in the video, same video right now, multitasking, I spoke with that one, like mystery bonus, storytelling, as people will mention, a little bit more loyally and honestly than just saying quality content, uh, improvement and all that, um, and communication, which obviously was my gambit in we sidestepping kind of thing and not oh well, what if communication with my passion in a different way people didn't expect it and that's possibly and, you know I had to do something about that every once in a while unfortunately but growth evolution so multitasking storytelling communication and those were the three ways to still be myself in the future you know the title of the video if I, if I used it already but here's what I will say for potentially I think I'm going to push this to 13 minutes this video uh, I'll be good in 13 um and I'll, I'll wrap this up as well for call to action. The kind of claymation I would make, like for example, when I'm sculpting a prop, I can talk while sculpting a prop and learn multitasking doing that. That won't be cheating variety of content, but that will be like sculpting a prop and then learning how to talk while sculpting because that's going to be a part of my multitasking goal, which is still a goal I care about. 
Well, that's my sculpting exclamation, Scott Muscle exclamation pop, while talking about philosophy and vlogging like that. So if I do that, that might be a little bit of a setback on both those things. But that's for the quality of those things. <laughs> but like, that will be something I can do that can help me apply those things at first for a while. That's what I care about. That's possible to do right now, but not too easy. And I can work that out over time. The other thing I can do is embed my philosophies and vlogging style stuff into like claymations when they're finished. And that's when they're filmed and animated and all that shit and video edited. And when I do that, that could be even the tiniest inoculation of philosophy and vlogging into, into my uh, claymation. And that could just be anything. It could be on accident, it could be on purpose, it could be scripted, it could be a, a suggested uh, idea of the interpretation theories of what I'm making of my claymations. Even shows, but that am actually still doing shows. Ooh, storyline. <laughs> but, uh, that could happen. The third thing was, uh, again, related to the, the last list of items, was mystery bonus. And the mystery bonus of having those types of self-expressions and authenticity in my sacrifice for niche down quality content was to have a form of myself that I could completely skip from the internet and com even completely skip from my real life and still have exist by soul. You know, it's something like where you, you don't, it's, it's, it's like what I said about sacrificing even my passions for even growth and evolution. I once, I said this before on other videos and other people, you may remember me saying something like this where I said, your life will bleed into your content and even maybe even vice versa, your, your content will bleed into your life. This is probably that latter half, like the content bleeding into my life. If I make claymations that are either truly skimp of philosophy and vlogging, which I doubt will even be the thing at the point, or even be possible. Not in a bad way, though. But if I really do either actually completely skip out of those things, or even don't suggest them at all in an obvious wet manner, then what will happen is that I'm going to be able to be myself in my real life without attachment to the things that I still sacrifice for. So what that unironically does in a complex scheme of that is that I'll be myself in my claymations without attachment to the things I think I am. Which will allow the claymations to be true to themselves with me without having to worry about being philosophical or being a vlogger or being an extrovert or being a multitasker or being all these other things I want to be and not be the things I'm talented at. You know, because my talents are still who I am, right? But what you guys need to understand is that I'm not trying to say this because I won't do this in the future anyways. Because that would be terrible, right? I mean, and if I just made this whole video and, and I didn't even do what I said I would do, wouldn't that be terrible? And then I just, or, or I do it and I don't even feel like it's a worthy idea anymore, but I still keep doing it and it hurts me more than necessary. But what would be necessary is for me to grow and evolve. And I don't even understand the claymation in the best possible way for that. If I don't understand claymation even now with philosophy and vlogging, it's best to sacrifice that for now. At least for now.